ready? Yeah. We're probably gonna have to cut these videos. I tried to put some, I put them on Facebook, on YouTube yeah. yesterday, but we're gonna have to do some editing on them. I don't have time. Okay, okay so today we're gonna build an offset, a squared round offset, and it's going to offset by five inches on the 10 inch side and by three inches on the eight inch side and it goes to six inches round and it's 10 inches tall. So the first thing we've got to do is we've got to lay out the top view on this sheet of metal to scale. Eight inches. Ten by eight, and then we want to offset by five inches on this side. So five inches. Oh wait, I don't want to offset by hand. five. Yeah, I do. Okay, five inches. Five inches, and then I want to offset up by three inches. how round the circle is oh. going to be is six inches round. Okay. So five inches. Six inches is going to be three and half a six is three. there is going to be the center of my six inch circle. Dissect my circle into quarters here. There it is. Now, I've never made anything like this, so if it doesn't work out, you know. You didn't do a practice run? I haven't done a practice run on anything like this. So if it doesn't work out, I guess. We're learning to we're learning together, that's right. So now I'm going to divide this up into 12 equal segments, which I can do from half of the circle. 
once I've got it dissected, I got it first dissected into quarters and then okay so there now I got to label these segments so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12. What's the difference between this and the other square around? Because you got to do this. This is not symmetrical. The other square around, you built half of it, okay. and then you didn't have to build the other half. You could just copy the other half. So now, you're going to want to have two compasses when you do this. One compass is going to set be set at your 12 equal segments like this. So there's, you can see that they're real close. If I would ascribe the whole thing, they'd be perfectly on. Okay. And then one is going to be used for your measurements. <clears throat> so you're going to want to label this guy too. You're going to want to label it A. I'm going to start with the bottom section of this so I don't get too confused. And I really need to divide this in half too. So four. Four. We won't have to put a line through it. Okay, so now I'm going to label, finish labeling this, the outer level anyway, which is going to be C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, so now I need to do a true line bar for this. So I'm going to draw my true line bar right in here. Now what does a true line bar do, guys? Space. Yep, it triangulates the length and the space. And because this is 10 inches, and I can't see very well, I'm gonna put it at 10 inches right here. So my first measurement, this is gonna go like this. See how is this going to go? It's going to go like this. If I'm looking down on it, it's going to go to there, and it's going to go to like this right here. So these are the lengths that I'm getting in space, and I'm just drawing this in so just to help me visualize it. You don't really have to draw it in. <coughs> Unless you want to just visualize it. Okay. So there is my A section. My C section is going to go like this. Okay. So now I'm going to get all my A measurements. I'm hoping. Like I said, I've never done this before, so I'm kind of hoping this works out. should work out. I don't see why it wouldn't. So this here is going to be A1 right here. A1. This here Because 
the marker is a little bit wide and it changes, it doesn't make it exact. So I'm going to go for my punch to it. And I'm going to go from this punch to it. So that's A2. I don't want to get confused on this I'm going to start trying it out because there's so much to this piece circle. So here we go. There to there is 10 inches. And I'm leaving my S cleat right here on the bottom. Okay. Now this right here is A. A, I also need my C to 4 right there in order to start this. So I'm going to get my C to 4 right now. There's C4. So my first triangle is going to be from A4 to C4. So now I need the length of that. So I'm going to go to my true length bar here and I'm going to grab that length, C4, right there. That's like an explosive. <coughs> now I'm also going to, so this is more accurate dot there and a dot there for my compass from. So basically my first arc is going to intersect my C4 arc is going to intersect with my A4 arc oh A1 no it's A4 still Here we go. Hopefully these intersect. Oh, I didn't quite get that long enough. Look. So now I got it. Start over on you guys. 
I don't think it would work out. And it might not work out on this, who knows. So again, first time I'm gonna draw my seam. 